welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about Raveled Tightrope Knot by Ship Hita. Now before we get started, there will be spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled on this manga, go ahead and click off now. No worries, I'll catch you next time. Now for those of you left behind, let's go over some content warnings. There may be references to cheating, BDSM, bullying, rape, dubious consent, obsession, and sextortion and or blackmail, as it does appear in this manga. Now, if none of that's going to bother you, let's go ahead and get started. As always, let's start with a quick synopsis. Natsuki has carried a torch for Harumi since they were in high school together. Unfortunately, due to his own insecurities, Natsuki rejected Harumi when Harumi confessed to him, and from that point on, they never really spoke again. Years pass, and at a wedding, Natsuki runs into Harumi. However, Harumi is no longer the shy, nerdy kid he knew in high school. Instead, Harumi has become alluring and hypersexual. He's nothing like the innocent Harumi he tried to protect by rejecting him all those years ago. To make up for lost time and for his regret over rejecting Harumi, Natsuki is determined to get close to Harumi once again. Though Harumi still cares for Natsuki, he's no longer the shy and innocent boy. He's got jealous lovers Natsuki has to contend with, plus Harumi is quick to put up a wall between them. Can Natsuki win back a distrustful Harumi's heart, or will a decision he made in high school ruin any chance he has with his long lost love? Now, as per usual, let's start out with the artwork. The art is hit or miss for me. Harumi's hair and ears are kind of weird, and the face shapes can be kind of wonky. However, it's to my taste about 75% of the time, so whatever, it's fine. When Harumi looks pretty, he looks super pretty, especially during the sex scenes. I wish that same energy was carried through to other scenes, but it's fine for the most part. I typically like long hair on men, but with Harumi, it sometimes looks awkward and frankly ugly. It's sad that he looks gorgeous as often as he does, only to be dragged down by his hairstyle. Another thing that bothers me is the scene where Natsuki gets frustrated over Harumi's unwillingness to leave one of his long-term sex partners, so Natsuki ends up punishing him with sex. All the while, Harumi is telling him he doesn't want to. It feels a bit hypocritical when Natsuki says that he wants to protect Harumi and stop others from hurting him, only to hurt him by essentially raping him. This is very reminiscent of Crash Into Me, which I reviewed fairly recently. The main difference is that the male lead and main character in this work isn't meant to be a big puppy dog type, like in Crash Into Me, which makes the cruelty more understandable, though not any less intolerable. I'm a big fan of sadistic tops, but this is pretty clearly rape, and I'm not a fan of that. Now, I feel like I've been pretty hard on this piece, but it isn't all that bad. It has some rough points, but I love the story arc overall. It almost feels a bit like a revenge story with how Harumi seduces Natsuki and tells him how it's Natsuki's fault that he turned out this way. It's very interesting and satisfying when we get to see Harumi's background and how he became the person Natsuki meets later on. Harumi is definitely the best part of this entire piece to me. I would say this is worth reading just for him, if nothing else. Now, with all that being said, this is a very solid and succinct piece. I certainly can't recommend this to everyone due to the nature of the work and the questionable consent, but it's still a very strong and sexy story overall. I wish the artwork was more consistent and stronger, but it's not terrible by any means. So, have you read Raveled Tightrope Knot? If so, what do you think? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you not? Let me know and comment below. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Bye!